everyone welcome to our channel civil simplified learning today we'll be solving some of the soil mechanics and foundation engineering problems of the previous year jlwa questions so let us start with the video the first question is local shear failure occurs beneath a footing in case of and the options given are dense sand loose sand silty clay and all of the above now mainly there are three types of failure mechanisms based on the pattern of the shearing zones and these are the firstly it is the general shear failure next is the punching shear failure and third is the local shear failure now the general shear failure mode is typical of soils possessing brittle type stress strain behavior example dense sand so general uh, shear failure mode jitu hoy hetu amar kenuka type of soil ot hoy it occurs in dense sand punching shear failure occurs in soils possessing the stress strain characteristics of a very plastic soil so punching shear failure to amar plastic soil of hoy jitu soil amar jitu soil ot amar plasticity thake which is cohesive soil and lastly that is the local shear failure that occurs in soils possessing somewhat plastic stress strain characteristics example loose sand so local shear failure to amar kot hoy it occurs in case of loose sand therefore we can say that the answer to this question is option b that is local shear failure occurs beneath a footing in case of loose sand next question pile foundations are suitable for now pile foundations are a type of deep foundations our pile foundations code use hoy jetia amar eta layer of weak soil thake pile foundations are used when there is a layer of weak soil at the surface for example if this is the soil this is the ground level yate jodi amar upor eta weak layer thake if this is the weak soil yate ami shallow foundation ami construct koribo noaru because ei soil tu amar upor je tu structure thakibo tare lok tu lobo noare so in that case we construct a pile foundation which crosses the weak layer of soil upor je tu weak soil layer thake hetu amar cross kori pelai etu amar weak soil layer it crosses the weak soil layer to a stronger layer at the bottom so upor je tu structure thake hei structure to load to it passes to the stronger layer so when the weak soil the weak soil layer cannot support the weight of the building the loads of the building have to bypass this layer and be transferred to the layer of stronger soil or rock that is below the weak layer so jitu amar option at jitu dia ase the water log soils what are water log soils water log soils are ki hoy pani jama hoy thake the water log soils have low shear strength and so it is difficult to get a hard stratum for foundation so amar yate jodi amar soil to water log hoy then hole it is considered as a weak soil and so it cannot be considered as a hard stratum jot ami foundation ata halke construct koribo parim so in that case we have to use a pile foundation so that amar water log soil to par hoy pela tolot ami strong layer to pabo paru so we can say that the answer to this question will be pile foundations are suitable for option a that is water logged soils let us come to next question the next question is on a retaining wall the friction between wall and soil now retaining wall ot jetia amar फ्रिक्शन जी थे वाल प्रेसर तो इनक्रीज कर रिडिज कर स्किन फ्रिक्शन इंडिज कर इफेक्ट नाथा ना वेन उ कन्सिडार द प्रेसर देट इज गिवेन बै द रिटेनिंग वाल जो वाल जो रिटेनिंग वाल वेन इट पुशेज द सल देन द प्रेसर देट उ कन्सिडार इज नोन एज द पेसिव प्रेसर पेसिव प्रेसर वेन द रिटेनिंग वाल pushes the 
backfill soil then the pressure that is developed is known as the passive pressure our passive pressure to amar ki hoy khodai it is the maximum pressure so we can say that with the retaining wall this is the friction developed hoy eta wall pressure to we can say that the wall pressure will be increased since this pressure is the maximum pressure so the answer will be it increases the wall pressure let us come to next question a soil sample which has been subjected to consolidation test has an area of 50 cm square a uh, dry weight of the sample is 190.24 g initial height of the sample is 25 mm taking g that is the specific gravity is uh, equal to 2.67 determine the height of solids and initial void ratio of the soil now it a question that amak duta bostu determine korbo dise the height of solids and the initial void ratio but in the options we have only one answer each so jodi amak duta bostu determine korbo dise duta parameter determine korbo dise then there should have been two answers but yet amak okol eta answer diya ase so there is something wrong with the question but it was ami height of solids amar yate jodi uliyabo lage ami there is not enough data that we can uh, we can find out the data but hetu pra ami etu calculate kori uliyabo noarim so we jigita amar answer diya ase he answer eta jodi ami calculate kori sao height of solids ba initial void ratio dui tai jodi ami calculate kori sao we will see that these options are applicable only for the initial void ratio the height of solids amar method eta ase calculate kora karane with the formula is given as h s is equal to w s by g s gamma w a now w s amar diya ase g s diya ase gamma w ami janu gamma w we always consider it as 1 gram per centimeter cube and also area uh, area also we can uh, it is given in the question that is 50 centimeter square but it was only ami calculate kori uliya we will get uh, the answer to be around 1.425 but that option is not available here in the uh, in the given options and also from that formula it is not possible to calculate the initial void ratio so we will consider calculating only the initial void ratio for this question and let us see what we get the answer now yate amak diya ase gamma w it is given in the question as 190.24 g v is equal to 50 v is the volume so volume is area that is given 50 cm square and this is the height jodi ami area it is our cross sectional area cross sectional area or height jodi ami multiply koru then we will get the volume so this is uh, the area is given as 50 cm square and the height is 25 mm which is equal to 2.5 cm so ami volume pump 125 cm cube now what is gamma d the dry unit weight is given as wd by v which is 190.24 by 125 which is equal to 1.52 g per cc now we know gamma d is equal to g gamma w 1 plus e which implies 1 plus e is equal to g gamma w by gamma d now g ki diya ase question at the specific gravity it is given as 2.67 gamma w we can consider 1 aru gamma d we have already calculated so etu formula pa ami e ki pam g gamma w by gamma d minus 1 so g is agar ami boham 2.67 into 1 by gamma d is 1.52 minus 1 now ami gamma w we have considered 1 because all the units are given in gram per cc so zeta unit to gram per cc thake then the value of gamma w is 1 but otherwise the value is going to be 10 so or you can also consider it as 9.81 which is the actual value so etu jodi ami calculate koru we get it as 1.75 minus 1 which is equal to 0.75 now if we see the options we have the 0.75 in the option so our initial void ratio to ami uliyabo paru which is equal to the option a that is 0.75 let us come to next question the next question is if the porosity of a soil sample is 20% its void ratio is now this is a very easy question 
Now void ratio formula to ki hoi? Void ratio is equal to porosity by 1 minus porosity. So porosity ki man diya asema 20%, 20% man is 0.2 by 1 minus 0.2 which is equal to 0.2 by 0.8 equal to 0.25. So the answer is option D that is 0.25. Next question, standard penetration test measures. Now, standard penetration test is key property measure for Now, standard penetration test is an in-situ penetrometer test that is carried out in a borehole. Our main purpose ki hoi, standard penetration test by SPT. The main purpose of the test is to provide the relative density of granular deposits such as sands and gravels. So, sand by gravel or is not like granular soil relative density by density index to ami korpa oliyabo paru by performing the standard penetration test so what will be the answer to this question the answer is option c that is density index of sand deposit now let us come to the next question if the volume of voids is equal to the volume of solids volume of voids is equal to volume of solids that is vv is equal to vf in a soil mass, then the values of porosity and void ratio respectively are. Now, let us solve this question. We know porosity N is equal to VV by V. Mane volume of voids by total voids. We can write this as VV by V2 ki hoi total voids. So, it will be volume of solids plus volume of voids. Now, what is void ratio? Void ratio is E is equal to volume of voids by volume of solids. Now, we know that VV is equal to VF. So, I mean VV is like a VF likhi bo paru, ba VS or is like a VV likhi bo paru. So, in this formula, that is N is equal to VV by VS plus VV, we can write VSR zakarami VV likhibo paru, which is equal to VV by 2 VV is equal to 1 by 2 is equal to 0 0.5. So porosity is equal to 0 0.5. Also, void ratio formula ami ki likhibo paru, we can write E is equal to VV by VS, aru VSR zakarami VV likhibo paru, so this becomes equal to 1. So porosity is equal to 0 0.5 and void ratio is equal to 1. So, the answer to this question will be option C, that is porosity is equal to 0 0.5 and void ratio is equal to 1. Thanks for watching. Uh, we have also uploaded a lot of other videos on different subjects for the JLWE examinations based on the previous year question papers. We are also conducting a series of mock tests for the upcoming JLWE 2020 examination. Uh, if you haven't registered it yet, do check out the registration details in this video linked above. You can register even now. Uh, the test will go on for till the end of the examination. We have a series of total number of tests will be three. We'll have a series of tests and that test will comprise of the subjects maths, graphics and the technical paper which is civil engineering. So you can either opt for all of these three subjects or you can opt for any one of these subjects or maybe two of these subjects that is up to you. So if you haven't registered it yet, do check out the video and register right now. And uh, do not forget to follow our Facebook page. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update from our channel.